Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have my birthday book haul and my birthday is on April 14th so it's not actually my birthday, not for like a little while, like I still have two months, but my sister's birthday was in January, my birthday is in April, so my mom was like let's combine those birthdays so that you know we didn't have to like throw two parties again with the family. So I got some money, I got some gift cards, and I immediately went book shopping. So this is going to be part one of my birthday book haul thing because in April I will have like a party with my friends and I'm pretty sure that they are gonna get me like some gift cards and books as well and stuff like that so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna buy some more books in April. I have a serious problem because I bought more books in uh, 2016 until so far than I've done in like the whole year of 2015 and it's only February so... So the first book that I got was Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. You guys probably most likely know this book. This is such a hype book right now. It is a sci-fi book that takes place in the year 2575 or something like that. This story is told through like emails and files and blueprints. The hardcover is super beautiful because when I get gift cards or money like for my birthday I'm just like Ooh, hardcovers because usually I uh, buy like paperbacks because they're less expensive so I can buy more books with the same amount of money but hardcovers are just so much more beautiful and this one is so nice this is like see-through ish <laughs> and the book itself has like a file or something on it and it just looks so beautiful and interesting and I absolutely cannot wait to read it it's like 600 pages long but it's like told in like all these different kinds of formats so I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna take me as long as a normal 600 page book would so I'm just really excited to read this and if you guys have read this book let me know in the comments what you thought of it the next book that I got is Confess by Colin Hoover and guys I'm really sticking to like my TBR for this whole year because I am planning to read much more Colleen Hoover and the last book that I read was Ugly Love by her you will see more of that in my wrap-up all I know is that this is about like a girl who falls in love with an artist or something and you also have some artwork in here let me show you so this is some of the artwork I'm not gonna show you more but it's I'm excited to read another Colleen Hoover book guys that's all I gotta say about this book okay so this next one I'm super excited for this one I have no clue what to expect and the second book is coming out in May I believe and it is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas so I did not expect to buy this book because I wasn't like super interested in this series uh, but the Throne of Glass series is until so far I've read the first two books amazing yeah I actually was kind of curious to see what this series is all about like what the hype is about and uh, this is kind of like a loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And again, something that I really like about Sarah J. Moss's books is that whenever you have like a new chapter, you have like this, I wouldn't say like drawing, but it's like specially decorated. So then I got a book that I'm also super excited about. Lately, I've heard a lot of people talk about this book and the fourth book is coming out in April again, I believe, or March, I have no clue. But the first book is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefather is how you pronounce her name, I guess. I haven't really got a clue what this book is about. I know that this book has magical realism in it and a lot of great characters. The hardcover is absolutely beautiful. It's like a white book and it has like this imprint on it. You can't really see through the camera, but like the dust jacket has like this pearlescent look to it and I just really like it. Just like with every book that I've shown you right now, I'm just really excited to see where all the hype is coming from and if it's worth all the hype. The last book that I got and that I'm also currently reading is A Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I have heard absolutely no one talk about this book, like absolutely no one. It has under a thousand ratings on Goodreads and look at how beautiful this cover is. I totally clicked on the book because of the cover, so I'm definitely like a person who loves good covers. And I read the synopsis of this book. It is supposed to be about this girl named Amani. She lives with her uncle and her aunt because her mother or parents died. She lives in this town called Dustwalk in like some sort of like Middle Eastern setting. It has like this Aladdin vibe to it. It's definitely not about Aladdin, but it just has like this Middle Eastern vibe to it. And then she goes to like this shooting contest to earn a lot of money so that she can escape from this town then she meets a foreigner and that's basically where this whole story starts I'm only like 40 pages in I don't know why this book hasn't got hyped because look at the cover the story sounds great and the ratings on Goodreads are like super good this book has like a 4.29 out of 5 stars why hasn't anyone talked about this book yet so I hope that I'm the first one to tell you guys 
go check out this book because it sounds just really awesome. I'm just really curious to see if this book is really good and I hope that a lot of more people will read this. I just also can't stop looking at the cover. It's just so stunning. Like I've recently bought so many beautiful books, but this is absolutely the most beautiful book of all time. Like, oh, cannot stop looking at it. So that was part one of my birthday book haul. Part two will probably be somewhere in April, like around the end of April because my birthday was on the 14th. I hope that you guys enjoyed this book haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.